You see, we are going to see linear equation in two variables. Okay, finding solutions. You have a trick and a magic and a simple way of finding uh, solutions of linear equation. You see the method. Consider the linear equation 2x plus 3y equal to 5. Okay. So you know very well that uh, linear equation has infinitely many solutions. Clear? So using this method you can find out a lot of solutions. Clear? You see, very simple way. You write the uh, x, y here. X, y, you write it. Now, what I am going to do is the x coefficient. What is x coefficient? 2. Okay, this 2 I am going to write below y. Below y. This uh, x coefficient, you see, you write uh, below y. Plus with sign you write, plus 2, with sign you write. Okay, when writing below, you have to take opposite sign. You have to take opposite sign. That is the rule. Here, yeah. opposite sign you take. Plus 2 means minus 2. Okay, then y coefficient above you are writing, above x you are writing. Here, yeah. y coefficient you are writing above x. So, as it is you write, no, no change. Okay, no change. As it is you have to write. That is the rule. Here. Now what I am going to do is this plus 3 bring it this side means minus 3. Right? Just the opposite sign. Then here minus 2 means you bring here means plus 2. Bring this side means plus 2. Okay. Now you see the magic. Only one solution is enough. We can find out the many solutions. Here. Infinitely many solutions. Understand, linear equation has infinitely many solutions here that we are going to find out in magic way. You see, first I am finding one solution very easy. See, one x is 1, y is 1 means this is satisfied. Satisfy not. x is 1 you give, center you give 1, x, x 1 you give, then uh, y you give 1. Here, 2 plus 3, 5 is satisfied. Now you can find out many solutions you see. Just adding. 3 plus 1, how much? 4. Here just adding minus 2 plus 1, minus 1. Again add 7. Again add minus 3. Okay, same way. 1 minus 3, minus 2. Here, 1 plus 2, 3. 1 minus uh, 3. Oh, 2, minus 2, minus 5, minus 3, minus 5. Minus 2, minus 3, minus 5. Then uh, 3 plus 2, 5. Further you can find out. You add on. You can find out. You see. You add on. Just add on. Okay. Minus 8. 7. Again add. Minus 11. 9. Like this you can find out the infinitely many solutions. Understand. Only one solution enough. Easy way of finding many solutions. Now you plot uh, this point in the graph means correctly will get strike line. Correctly will get strike line. Understand? So this is a very easy way to find out the solutions of uh, uh, linear equation in two variables. This is the method. Okay. Always you have to remember it is very helpful to you during examination. Here. See after finding you can erase it. Nobody knows. Here. They will see only solutions. Understand? That is the trick. You erase these uh, numbers. Okay, you write this one in the pencil. Then after uh, finding the solution, you erase it. You see, uh, you can verify also. You see, x4 you put 8. Then minus 1, minus 3. 8 minus 3, 5. You put any solution. Okay, correctly it will be satisfied. Minus uh, 2 means minus 4. Here 9. Minus 4 plus 9, 5. Here, here this solution you put minus uh, 5 into 2, minus 10. Then here 15, minus 10 plus uh, 15, 5. So this is magic. Automatically you will uh, what, uh, get so many solutions. Just one solution is enough. One solution is enough. You can 
tried many solutions. That is the beauty of uh, this method. You see, dislocation is 3 equal to 2x plus y. Okay, you don't bother about uh, this constant term. Clear? Only what we need x coefficient and y coefficient. Right? So, you remember x coefficient 2. What you have to do? Write below y. By writing below y, change the sign here. Plus 2 there means minus 2. Plus 2 there means minus 2. Right? You write with the pencil. Here, later on you can erase it. Okay. Next, what is y coefficient? Plus 1. As it is you have to write. Above x you are writing. So, as it is you have to write. So, plus 1 you write. Okay. Now, you bring this side this uh, plus 1 means minus 1. Change the sign. Here, minus 2 means plus 2. Which sign you write? Okay. That is very important. Sign is very important. Okay. Now, what I am going to do is, uh, one solution I am going to find out, right? Put x is 0, put x is 0, anywhere you put, okay, I am putting center, here x is 0. See, x is 0 means, this term fully what? 0. So, you will get automatically y equal to 3, right? y equal to 3. Okay, so one solution is ready now. Now, we can find out the many solutions, you see, just adding... 0 plus 1, remember the method is very important here, remember 0 plus 1, 1, minus 2 plus 3, 1, okay, you can verify also 1, 1, x is 1, y is 1 means you see 1 into 2, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, ready, now again 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 1, 2, here you see minus 2 plus 1, minus 1, Minus 2, plus 1, minus 1. Again, add on. 3. Here, minus 3. Here. Now, come to this side. 0, minus 1, minus 1. 0, plus 2, 5. Minus 1, minus 1, minus 2. Then, 7. Then, minus 3. Then, 9. Minus uh, 4. Then, 11. You see. Got into uh, eight solutions here within a uh, what minute eight solution you find out. Otherwise, normally what you will do put uh, x is equal to zero, y three, put x is equal to one here, then y you will get like that. You will do on here, it will take more time. You see, this is magic here. Simple way we can easily find out the many solutions you can find. As many solutions here, 100 solutions also you can find, 1000 also you can find. So, infinitely many solutions also you can find. So, media education has infinitely many solutions here. So, from this easy you can understand, linear education has infinitely many solutions. So one more problem we will see. Find 5 solutions of 3x equal to 2y. You see the equation, 3x is equal to 2y. So, this equation you rewrite, you bring this. Uh, to y term this side. Therefore, you can write 3x minus 2y is equal to 0. Okay. So, what is the beauty of this equation? How the graph of this equation? You see the equation. There is no constant term. There is no constant term. So, the graph of line is uh, what? Passing through origin. Clear? The line of the graph will pass pass through RG. Understand? We can check after uh, that what we can uh, plot the points and we can check whether it is passing through RG or not. Clear? So, if you have no constant term, means definitely it passes through RG. We can check also using. First to find out the solutions. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, five, and okay. Now, X, Y, right? X, Y, right? 
Now what is x coefficient? 3. Where you have to write? Below y. So while writing below y, change the sign. Okay. Remember, always change the sign. Plus 3 means minus 3 you have to write. Plus 3 means minus 3. Now what is uh, y coefficient? Minus 2 with sign you have to see. Here coefficient always take with sign. Y coefficient minus 2. Write as it is. The above x you are writing. So write as it is. Write as it is. Okay. So very simple. Now you bring this one. This side means plus 2. Change the sign and write. For bringing. Okay. This side means plus 3. Remember. The stuffs you have to always remember. Here. Next. You have to find out one solution. Easily you can find out. Here uh, x is 2, you put 6. Here 3, you put 6. 6 minus 6, 0. So I am putting here uh, x is uh, in the middle, you put it. Okay. Uh, x is uh, 2 means it will be 6. So y is uh, 3 means it is uh, 6. 6 minus 6, 0. Satisfied. So we got one solution. Now you can find out many solutions. You see, just adding minus 2. Plus 2, how much? 0. So, minus uh, 3 plus 3, 0. <coughs> you see, directly one solution getting 0, 0. So, 0, 0, one solution means what? The line will pass, pass through origin. Clear? Now, 0 minus 2 is minus 2. Here, 0 minus 3 is minus 3. Clear? Now, add 2 plus 2, 4. 3 plus 3, 6. Then 6, then 9. So, like this, you can uh, find out many solutions. But in the problem, they ask you only 5 solutions. So, we got it. You see, within a minute, we are getting clear. That is the beauty of this method. Clear? Learn it uh, properly and remember. Do practice. Okay. You see, now, we'll, now we will uh, plot these points in the graph xx dash, y, y, y dash. Okay. x axis, y axis, and the origin at center. Clear? Now, minus 2, minus 3. Where first x axis is uh, minus 2 here, minus 3 down here. So, mark the point here. Then 0, 0. So, this is 0, 0. Mark the point here. 0, 0. Next 2, 3. Here 2, then 3. Plot the point. Then 4, 6. 4, and is 6 here. Approximately here. Okay. Now you join all the points. Right. All the points. Okay. To draw a straight line, minimum 3 points is enough. Okay. So we have 5 points. I, I took only 4 points. You see. The line is passing through our gene. So from this, what you will understand? There is no constant term. Uh, in the equation, then the line definitely will pass, pass through the origin. Clear? It will pass through the origin. You see. Clear? So you can do so many problems like this. You can understand? So after uh, what? Uh, solving this problem, you uh, just what? Rub this one. Clear? Take the eraser and the rub this one. Nobody knows, okay, how you got this, uh, nobody knows. Here, that is the trick, okay. So, easily we can uh, find out the solution and then we can draw the graph, okay.